Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at strategies for subtraction. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. Subtraction strategies can help students to subtract large numbers accurately and fluently. In this lesson, we'll review three useful strategies, place value, combining place value, and the break apart strategy. This lesson will have a different format than usual as we'll examine the mastery and misconceptions of each strategy individually. The first strategy we'll take a look at is using place value to subtract. Let's look at an example. The first step is to line numbers up by place value, 344 minus 225. Next, subtract the ones. Four is less than five, so the student must regroup or borrow one 10 from the tens place. So the four tens and four ones now become three tens and 14 ones. So 14 minus five equals nine. Next, subtract the tens. Three minus two equals one, and last, subtract the hundreds. Three minus two equals one. So 344 minus 225 equals 119. Sometimes students must regroup twice in one question. Let's change our original question to 324 minus 225 to illustrate. The same process applies as before. So we grouped one 10 to make 14. 14 minus five equals nine. Now, because we regrouped one of the tens already, we only have one left and we can't subtract two from one. So just as we did when this was the case in the ones place, we regroup from the next highest place value. Here, that would be the hundreds place. We regroup 100, leaving us with two hundreds and the 100 we regrouped turns into 10 tens to go with the one 10 we already have, giving us 11 tens. 11 minus two equals nine, and in the hundreds place, two minus two equals zero. So 324 minus 225 equals 99. The most difficult situation for students when using this method is when they have to regroup across a place value, like in this example. As we've established, five can't be subtracted from four, so we must regroup. Only there's a zero in the tens place. So what do we regroup from? The next highest place value, which is the hundreds. This next process can be very difficult for students to grasp, especially when they fail to recognize place value and just see these digits as a three, a zero, and a four. So since we can't regroup from nothing, we must move on to the hundreds place where we have three hundreds. We regroup one of these hundreds to the tens place, leaving us now with two hundreds and 10 tens. Because 100 equals 10 tens. Can we regroup from 10? Yes. We take one 10, leaving us with nine tens and regrouping it as 10 ones to go with the four ones we already had. So now we have 14 ones minus five ones, which equals nine. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 2 minus 2 equals 0. So 304 minus 225 equals 79. And it does, so our answer is correct. To help with regrouping difficulties, students should write 44 minus 200 25 equals 119, then 119 plus 225 should equal 344. And it does, so our answer is correct. To help with regrouping difficulties, students should write numbers largely and as neatly as possible. This concept can be difficult to grasp. It is such a tremendous help for students to be able to organize and process their own calculations. When discussing this method, use the term regroup instead of borrow as it helps students understand what's happening. Sometimes students may regroup incorrectly. 
To help with this mistake, students might draw a quick pick, which means drawing a model of the numbers using a square to represent each hundred, a line or a stick to represent each 10, and a dot to represent each one. See how the picture visually represents the process of regrouping? See how 110 becomes 10 ones? See how 100 becomes 10 tens? The next strategy is combining place value to subtract. With this strategy, you may combine the tens and ones to save yourself from regrouping. Let's take a look at an example. When subtracting 344 minus 225, you notice that four is less than five. Instead of regrouping, the student would combine the numbers from the tens and ones, subtracting 44 and 25 to reach 19. Then students would subtract the three and two, getting your final answer of 119. This strategy can get a little tricky as sometimes the tens and ones in the top number are smaller than the tens and ones in the bottom number. Suppose we had to subtract 325 minus 244. Now the process doesn't unfold quite as easily. Here, we would need to regroup one of our hundreds at this point, this strategy really isn't making life any easier than the traditional place value subtraction. Therefore, if the tens and ones on the top number are not greater than the tens and ones in the bottom number, I recommend that you not proceed with this method and select either place value subtraction or our next strategy, which is the break apart strategy. The third strategy is the break apart strategy. With this, students will break apart each number by place value in order to subtract each column. When asked to subtract 536 and 324, break each number out according to place value. Start with the hundreds, subtracting 500 and 300, which gives you 200. Next, subtract 30 and 20, which gives you 10, and subtract six and four, which gives you two. Adding together the differences then gives you 212. We add together the differences because we are looking for the total difference between 536 and 324. Students can sometimes have difficulty with regrouping within this strategy. For example, suppose our original question was changed to 500 36 minus 344. In the tens place, 4 is greater than 3, so we must regroup one of our hundreds. We take one of our hundreds, leaving us with 400, and regroup it to 10 tens, which would now give us a value of 130 in the tens place. Now, we can subtract 130 by 40 to get 90. Keep in mind that some strategies may work better for certain problems. Talk to students about why one might work better than another for any given problem. When students have difficulty, always go back to place value. Sometimes when students are missing the foundational understanding of ones, tens, and hundreds, they'll struggle with these strategies. Drawing models of place value can help to solidify understanding when students are confused. To gain a full understanding of this concept, visit the lesson page to view the rest of our subtraction lessons. Uniting students and families and learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.